watching Ed Magic TV. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. For me, you know, it's it's amazing. This is my first time being nominated for uh, NAACP award. Um, I was excited to be part of this process, you know. But you know, first and foremost, I had no idea what I was signing up for when I was doing Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Um, I'm a musician first, like I said. Um, I don't do construction. <laughs> But what I did, I mean, I, I do have a drive and I have a spirit uh, and I have a connection with the common man and, you know, we went in and building a home in seven days is a monumental task. And uh, to be part of that, to be part of the, the whole, uh, uh, the movement the, and the volunteers, the man hours it takes, uh, it feels great, you know. No, I, I mean, I can't uh, solicit my services, <laughs> but I can definitely say that I learned a lot, you know, met a lot of great people, um, met a lot of uh, 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 great families that uh, otherwise I would have never even seen or heard of. Um, it's been a very humbling experience to see people uh, that don't have and that can't possibly do for themselves and to give them something that they can live with. Not just have and show to their friends, you know, just because, you know, uh, it, it's part of a reality show, but these people are really living these the, these homes and, you know, we, we, we are rebuilding lives and homes at the same time and it feels good to be part of it. I feel like um, there's a drive that uh, I, I don't know if I necessarily had before. Like there's, um, the only way I can explain is there's a stick of lava in my spine and my new motto for the year is yes. So the things that come up my way, even if I'm afraid of them or fearful or whatever the case might be, I do them because I don't want him to fear anything. So I don't know, I just, I'm trying to live by example for him. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Yes? Hmm. Have a work ethic. Have a work ethic. So when you walk away from whatever job you're doing, you do the best that you can and you feel proud when you walk away from it because when you put your all into a job, um, other people see it. It may not be the job that you're going to stick to, but other people can see your, your energy and your passion for what you do, whether it's selling tacos or you know selling clothes at the local mall, whatever it is, if you have passion for something, other people will notice it. So I would say create a work ethic and hold on to it, no matter how much money you get. I would say that, yeah. I'm a method actor as well as a method singer. I, I don't sing things unless it's it touches me in some way, or I'm just singing a song and then I'm wasting my time and everybody else's. I, I wish I knew. I found this in my closet. Thank you. I felt very goddessy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and just so you know, you didn't ask about it, but the Maxwell tour, uh, myself and Maxwell are going on tour, on a stadium tour uh, this spring. I know. It's nice, right? It's nice. So it's going to be a lot of music, <laughs> a lot of good music. It's an honor to uh, get this award. It's an award that's been given to some of my favorite fighters, uh, Muhammad Ali, Bill Clinton, Tavis Smiley. Um, so I'm uh, happy to be in that tradition. You know, I'm, I'm commanded by my faith to uh, turn the other cheek, love my enemies, pray for those who despitefully use, use me. That's, that's, that's in the core of who I am. And one of the things I think that has to happen in our country is uh, we, you know, we can go back and forth and back and forth. It's not about trying to win this food fight. It's about trying to end the food fight and move on to solve real problems. So I'm, I, uh, uh, anytime I get the opportunity to speak, uh, I want to make sure, admittedly, I don't say anything is going to make it hard for my children to be friends with other people in this country. Uh, and uh, that's, we, we, we have to stand in that. We have to, we have to stand in that. I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing, which is trying to get jobs for people who don't have them. Um, and there, there are people in rural America, urban America, Native America, that right now have skills, talent, passion, want to be a part of the economy, and they have the right, from my point of view, uh, to participate. We need to build a green economy that Dr. King can be proud of. 
uh, a green economy that includes everybody.